All right, guys. Uh, flatbed 101 with Mike again. Why not? There's my beautiful truck, and here's our load. Picking up in Laredo, Texas, at the yard there. Um, this one kind of threw me for a loop, so any kind of feedback I'd appreciate, honestly. Proof positive that 12 years of doing this, it's never a bad idea to ask for outside opinion. You never know everything there is to know about this job. Okay, now here's the deal. We have 10 I-beam structures. Um, they are rectangular, if you're looking at them from the top with uh, cross beams going through the center. Um, but if you notice, there is, they're, they're butted up against each other, so there's no way to put belly straps at all. And some of you are gonna go, well, why not through the holes? Well, those holes are really sharp and there's no real good way to put corner protectors in there or anything. So, um, and the chains won't fit. So, uh, it is what it is. Uh, length, weight wise, it's a 14,000 pound load. So fucking, what is that, like two, three straps? So we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use the length formula, which is uh, two in the first 10 feet and then one for every 10 foot or fraction thereof after that. This is about a 40 foot load, okay? I did the measurements using the uh, stake pockets, two foot on center, as you guys know. Um, and I came up with um, 10, 20, 30, 40. Five straps plus one for safety, that's six. I went ahead and did seven because I can't put belly straps on a bastard and I don't want to go nowhere. Now, it's got bands. I don't know if you can see. It's got three bands, one right there, one right there and then one towards the back um, that are banding it together and making it a bundle. But if you look at it, um, they're not that great. So my thought was, how in the Sam hell do I make sure the middle doesn't come sliding out if we have to slam on the brakes or anything like that? Because um, I can't do bellies. Um, I don't have, I mean, I don't know fucking chains won't go over oh the guys that are metal on metal and, should, and are gonna say i should have used chains on the whole load the fucking chains aren't long enough okay so eat it anyway this is what i came up with these things have these little holes in them and so what i did you can see i took a chain right here hooked it in an approved prime method um, I could have gone around these two spools, but that's my preferred way of doing it, so whatever. Um, and then I ran through the hole, and then I ran over through the other hole, did the same thing on the other side, and then bind it in the middle with one of my little clip guys to keep my snap from coming loose. Tighter than hell. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be okay. Uh, things I'm going to watch out for. Um, oh, and I made sure I put corner protectors over on all the straps so they don't cut. Um, things I'm going to watch out for. I tighten my straps really, really tight. Um, I put my half twist in them so they don't sit there and vibrate going down the road. If they do loosen and I start to see them vibrate going down the road, I am immediately gonna find somewhere safe to pull into to tighten them up because uh, what can happen is if it gets to vibrating um, up there, it could vibrate against these edges right here and then you end up with a cut strap and nobody wants that. So definitely a load you wanna keep an eye on when you're going down the road. I mean, you should be keeping an eye on all your shit. Um, but any comments or suggestions or questions, I'm, I'm more than happy to take. Um, we're gonna take this from here in uh, Laredo to, oh, look, it even says it, Visalia, California. All right, you guys have a great day. Be safe, um, peace.